Hey guys, this is Emmanuel with Funtown RV. I'm a part of the RV ASAP team here with Funtown. And today we have a treat for you guys. We're doing a walkthrough of the 2022 Cedar Creek Cottage 40 CDL. This is a highly asked for walkthrough. This is a destination trailer model. So guys, let's go take a look. All right guys, starting up front, you'll see our a Cedar Creek signature white picket fence. Uh, when you see this on a campground, you know exactly what it is. It's a Cedar Creek. Above that, we're gonna have our 180 degree window view. This is gonna be a beautiful uh, accessory to have on the inside. It's gonna offer beautiful natural lighting. Guys, a few things I wanna touch on on this camper, since it is designed for residential stay, it's gonna have two inch sidewalls with residential insulation. Uh, it's going to have hung walls on the interior, enclosed underbelly with uh, heated tanks. So it's going to have lots of features that you're going to want to see if you're staying in here long term. Let's go take a look at the side. All right, guys, here on the side of our Cedar Creek 40 CDL, you're going to notice a few things. One, it is a wide body camper. We have dual posing slides on this RV, making the inside really open up and have plenty, plenty of space for long term stay. Above me here, you're gonna notice that we have a 19 foot awning. So that way when we're on the exterior of this camper, we can keep the party going, enjoy our activities, safe from the elements uh, that might be outside. Again, on that topic, we also have outdoor speakers that are marine grade. So these are gonna be splash proof. You're gonna be completely fine in the elements with these outdoor speakers as well. This camper does also have an eight point manual leveling system. So that way when we're at the campgrounds, we'll have a nice sturdy setup, no matter what the terrain might be. A great feature that I love personally on this Cedar Creek is our dual entry doors. We have our standard sliding glass door in the main living quarters, but then we also have our second bedroom door. Uh, again, that goes directly into the bedroom uh, here in this Cedar Creek. All right, guys, here at the rear of the camper on the outside, you'll notice a few things. We have three windows in the rear. We have one going directly into the master bedroom, and then two up above, that's gonna be where our loft space is. All of these windows do open up, so that way we can have fresh breeze coming through uh, at any point. Around the driver's side of this RV, we're gonna notice a bed slide. This is going to be a part of our bedroom, allowing for that large feel in the master. We also have a couple storage cubbies along the driver's side of this RV. As we come along the driver's side of this Cedar Creek, you'll notice we do have a bed slide. This is going to open up our master bedroom as you'll see in a moment. Cedar Creek has also included a couple storage spaces on the outside. In this one here, we actually have stored our MoRide step above solid step, so that way, whether if you don't have a patio set up, you can have some consistent stairs that are always gonna be there for you, or you can remove them uh, for your own patio setup. Now that we've taken a look at all of our outdoor features, let's go take a look inside. All right, here we are on the inside of this 40 CDL. As you can see, we have these large dual posing slides in our main living quarters. This is gonna offer us tons of room in here to walk around and to enjoy ourselves while we're in the main living quarters. Uh, guys, starting in this uh, passenger side slide, we're going to have our freestanding dinette and chairs. This is starting to become very popular with a lot of our customers as it offers us some flexibility and versatility uh, if we wanna use this space for a dog cage, for additional storage, uh, whatever it may be you're using it for, or we have you know adjustable seating arrangements uh, with the freestanding chairs. As you can see also in the slide, we're gonna have large windows here offering that beautiful natural lighting that we want uh, if we're in a home style camper setup. Each one of these windows in the slide are gonna have uh, blackout shades and daytime shades so we can enjoy our lighting uh, in the evening and... Nah. All right guys, starting in our passenger side slide here, we're gonna have our freestanding dinette and chairs. This is starting to become a popular addition that you guys are asking for as it offers us some versatility as we can move the chairs for additional storage space or to adjust our seating arrangement anywhere throughout this coach. Back here, we're gonna have our reclining sofa. It's 
going to be fully reclinable sofa. It's going to have built-in USB for charging our phone, charging some of our gadgets. We're going to have some additional storage built into this couch here. Two cup holders. In this slide, guys, we have tons of natural lighting coming through. Nice large windows directly behind the sofa and the dinette. You can open the bottom side of those windows and uh, each one of these windows in the slide and throughout the coach are going to have blackout shades and daytime shades as well. At the front cap of this Cedar Creek, as I mentioned before, we're going to have that 180 panoramic view with all these windows we have on the front cap. This is going to be awesome no matter what campground we're at, no matter where we're staying, we're going to have a rock star view. Here we're going to have our nice large sofa, be able to seat up to four people. This is also going to turn into additional sleeping space as it is a pull-out bed, which we'll show you uh, in this video. This couch is also going to have built-in side tables with plug-in outlets, our traditional plug-in outlets. And as you can see, those beautiful wood finishes throughout. The sofa is also going to have a side table built in and also, like I said, those plug-in traditional outlets. So now here we are on our driver's side slide. We're going to see our entertainment area here. We're going to have our nice large Insignia TV. This TV is on a swivel mount, which comes in handy as we can view the TV from multiple angles in the coach. Above that, we will have some storage space, additional storage space. Uh, you'll also notice all the beautiful lighting throughout this camper. You'll see these lights. Uh, there's no shortage of lighting in here. Uh, these lights are everywhere in this coach. And here is our stereo system. Stereo system will control the speakers on the inside as well as the outside of this RV as there are marine grade speakers on the exterior. Guys, and here we have our fireplace. This is gonna be pretty standard in RVs nowadays. But again, here in this Cedar Creek, it is a feature that they include. It's gonna emit ambient light at different colors and also emit plenty of heat coming off of this heater. As you can see here, we're gonna have a deep cubby space to put any game consoles or uh, DVD players there. Here we're gonna have our stainless steel appliances. These are all gonna be residential features in this coach, starting with our four burner stove, and it's gonna have a residential size oven. Plenty of space in the oven, as you can see. Above that, we'll have our stainless steel LG microwave. It is going to have a vent, vent hood right underneath it built into this microwave. Here we have our beautiful island in the middle of this coach. This is definitely going to be a larger island than you'll see in a lot of other uh, campers, fifth wheels. It's going to have a dual basin sink, one a little bit larger than the other one. Nice dark finish on the removable faucet head. These are all going to be solid surface countertop guys with the beautiful finish. It's kind of a sparkly finish that you'll see throughout this camper. Cedar Creek also includes a stainless steel. This is going to be a 110 refrigerator. It's also going to have a built-in freezer as well. Plenty of storage space. As we pan around this RV, you're going to notice tons of uh, pantry space, drawer space, these are all going to be soft closing drawers and the pantry space is going to be massive in this coach guys. Take a look. Our main pantry is going to even have pull out cubbies so we can store dishes, so we can store food. And below that last cubby we're going to have even more space at the very bottom of this pantry. To finish up the kitchen area here, we're going to have our beautiful coffee bar area. Uh, you'll notice the beautiful backlighting here and backsplash that mimics a marble. Again, that solid surface countertop and lots and lots of drawer space. We even have two trash cans included with two trash can holders in there. even more drawer space right next to that. This is gonna be our control station where we keep all of our buttons for the slides and can monitor the tanks that we have. Above that, guys, you're gonna see 
the main feature of this RV, which is a huge loft space up there. It's actually two loft spaces in one. Super excited to show you guys that. The bathroom in this 40 CDL is going to have tons of space, guys. It's definitely going to have lots of space around the toilet. We are going to have our porcelain foot flush toilet. We have a large one-piece shower. This is going to be great for long-term stay and long-term use. So right after the restroom in the Cedar Creek, headed towards our master bedroom in the hallway, we're gonna have these steps up to the loft area. It's a nice little touch. We're gonna have these nice dark painted steps heading up to our loft space. Again, we have our LED lights above me. But to my left, towards the front of the camper, we're gonna have our smaller of the loft spaces. This will sleep about two campers. It's gonna have plug-in outlets. It's gonna have our fan right above that, our vent fan, several of these LED lights. To the right of me is gonna be our large loft space. Guys, this is really gonna be one of the main selling points for this RV if you're planning on staying here long term. If you have kiddos, if you have people that are gonna be staying with you uh, for extended periods of time or even if they're just visiting, this space up here is gonna be, you know, a, this space up here is gonna be a major, major help for you we have two bed toppers in here, as you would see on some of the bunks that we have uh, in our inventory. This loft space is gonna have three windows that do open up for fresh air. And again, they still have those blackout shades. They still have those daytime shades, more outlets and built-in storage space. This 40 CDL is gonna be about 40 feet tongue to bumper. So we're not gonna compromise any space in the bedroom as we do have a bed slide in the bedroom for our king size bed. On each side of our king size bed, we're gonna have USB outlets. Above that, we're gonna have built-in nightstands uh, to hold our CPAP machines or our phones or a water bottle at night. It's gonna have individual reading lights right above that. And behind me here, you're gonna notice lots and lots of uh, closet space. These uh, closet doors do lock in place, so they don't, these closet doors do lock in place, so they're not sliding open and closed all throughout uh, your travel if you are moving this coach. And of course, our destination trailer needs to have our washer and dryer prep and Cedar Creek has included that for us here. They also have included an additional hanging rack above that and some more outlets for our washer and dryer. Across from our bed here, we're gonna have a built-in dresser. This dresser is gonna have four drawers, four large drawers very deep enough for plenty of clothes. This drawer is gonna be lit underneath with LED lights. Up top, it's gonna even maximize our space. It's gonna be a little bit of a built-in jewelry box. I think it's a great use of space. Of course, a nice window that does open up and a TV that comes standard in the master bedroom, flat screen insignia TV. You may have already forgotten as we have covered a lot of features but we do have a second door in this coach. We have our sliding glass door and we have a door that comes directly into the master bedroom. It's gonna have a screen door and it's gonna have a peephole as well. All right guys, thank y'all so much for joining us on this walkthrough of the 2022 Cedar Creek Cottage 40 CDL. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, the fun starts here.